Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bob. What's doing, everybody? Your boy Biz from whatsdoingbiz.com. Out here by the pool, chopping it up. Sets are fucking massive out here, eh? Have a look at him. I've just been charging the biggest fucking waves in that, eh? Today's video is all about mental toughness and not giving a fuck about nothing. Just got up, do a quick routine check. What's going on with Biz? What's happening? Or should I say what's doing? I'm talking kind of soft. Don't want to wake up the dragon. It's coffee time. Stimulation of the mind. Before we get upstairs and rip in. Very important to try and rip in early. Get it over and done with. The rest of your day is just gonna fall into place. What's doing, biz? Build your mental toughness. If you are one of those people that has absolutely zero mental toughness, if you know, and you're not lying to yourself, you're looking deep down inside yourself and you know that you are a piss weak bitch, work on it. Work on it slowly, day by day. Do one thing you don't like doing. When you wake up in the morning, make your bed. Just make your bed. Throw the, throw the cover over, straighten it up, puff the pillows up, Takes you 30 seconds. Make it a routine. Go straight into the kitchen, make yourself that coffee. Sip on it, sit down, reflect, think about what you want to achieve today. Knock a couple of things out. Take that rubbish out. Walk it all the way to the bin. Don't just double bag it and leave it out the front door. Say, oh, I'll do it later. Make the effort and walk all the way out and do it and come back. Build that character, build that discipline inside yourself. Because those little things that you do are gonna change you. They're gonna create this discipline monster inside you that's like, nah, 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 this is how I'm doing it. Every little thing you do in life, do it 100%. No shortcuts, no bullshit. Stop lying to yourself. A lot of people talk about high income skills, right? I'm, I'm venturing down the path of affiliate marketing. I'm venturing down the path of being an entrepreneur and doing all these things. Maybe not a high income skill, but let me tell you a life skill that you should have. Mental toughness. If you have never built up mental toughness, I want to give you a simple and effective way that you can do it, right? I think it's going to cost you about 10 bucks. If you've got a bathtub at home, fill that up with some cold water. Get yourself about three or four bags of ice from the servo. Jam that in there and just jump on in neck deep and just try and breathe, try and breathe. And when it gets really, really painful and it gets really, really unbearable, don't get out, don't do that. Don't make excuses, don't listen to the voices that tell you, no, 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 it's okay to get out because of this. Oh, no, but, but, but you know, I might get sick. Oh, uh, yeah, but, you know, oh, but I've got to do that thing. And stay in there, just breathe. Conquer it, conquer that bitch voice inside you. Grow a little bit. The moment you start growing, you become that little bit more mentally tough, can take that anywhere with you. As much as social media makes it out like we all have to care about our, our likes and dislikes, we all have to care about who's our views and who's watching us. Take a step back and just stop giving a fuck. One of my best mates, since we were about five years old, did he goes, don't don't worry, like don't think, like it's okay, don't don't stress about it. And my response to him was, oh bro, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. And he just laughed. Every day he'd see me and he's like, yeah, but I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I didn't give a fuck about nothing. And I get that it didn't make sense. Like it's not proper English or whatever. What I was trying to get across was that I'm just, I don't care. And the moment I stopped caring was so enlightening to me. It was just so, I was free. No one could hold anything against me. No one could use anything against me. There are things that I care about. There's things, my children are the number one thing in, in my life and I'll never not care about them. When you've been pushed to a point where the things that you love more than anything in the world are used against you, you have to sit down and make a decision. You have to say, am I gonna be controlled by these feelings for the rest of my life or am I going to take a stand and am I going to take the power away from people who think they can leverage me. Ask yourself that question. If you've ever been put in a situation where there's something that you love so, so much, that you feel that you have absolutely no control over that situation, and somebody decides to just geppetto you. Yeah, 
Ask yourself if you're mentally tough enough to go through the lonely nights, to go through the darkest moments without the things that you love the most in life because you choose not to be controlled by someone else. Chicken breast, shrimp, fried rice, two eggs, veggies, some beautiful veggies here. Put it on in, just like that. Because I like my shit salty, sour, Oy. spicy, and sweet. Can you get your lime, right? And you just go like that. For anyone who says you're just gonna ruin it, no, I'm not gonna ruin it. Because you don't live in my taste buds, bud. You don't live in them. I live in my taste buds. Get it in the uh, If you're not eating with a spoon, are you even from Thailand? Like, are you even from Thailand? I'll put this one out for Sash. Hey, punk, I'm more Thai than you. I'm eating with a spoon in Thailand. So the stack of vitamins that I take every day is 1,000 milligram vitamin C. I don't have the container for the vitamin B anymore. Vitamin we switch them up, but vitamin B, whatever the IU is, I have no idea. But vitamin B and vitamin Ds, take two of these bad boys right here. And they're a thousand, they're a thousand IUs each. So if you want to stay on top of your health, get the vitamins up, you mate. Real men do it dry. Not a real man. Oh, I struggled then. I struggled so much.